Hello, it's time for another Jingle Jam. Here we are. Who is ready to play some Xenonauts? But before that, we also have to spin the wheel. So, as I mentioned previously, let me turn this down my ear. As I've mentioned previously, uh, we've had a lot of winners who've won over and over and over. So I took a couple people off the list temporarily until other people can catch up in the number of games they get. Uh, I'm also going to stop using random number generator. I'm just going to pick from the list um, because we keep re-rolling the same numbers over and over and over. We did get a new addition to the wheel. Let me go ahead and pull the wheel up. Uh, let's see. There we go. We've got the wheel pulled up. Uh, Wolf got added last night right after, right at the end of last night's stream. And uh, I didn't actually roll them then, but they might get rolled now. So let's go ahead, spin the wheel, see who's going to get a new game today. Do, 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 do. We have Cutlass77, who's going to be getting a game. Just randomly scroll and pick the first one I see. Uh, he is going to be getting Cook, Serve, Delicious. Cook, Serve, Delicious 3 at that. So, Cutlass. 77. Mark that for later. Spin again, because he has been a winner before. We've got... Looks like Wolf is getting their first win. What are they going to be getting? They are going to be getting... Boom. Deployment. No idea what that is. And I'm really trying to burn through this list at this point. So, I, I'll just keep spinning, even though they've not won before. We'll go up to four. We've got Nambly, Nabbly Babbly. What is Nabbly Babbly going to be getting? Let's see. They are going to be getting... Boom. Uh, the Homeworld Remastered Collection. That's a good one. I actually have that. Probably one of the top prizes in this collection, if I had to guess. If uh, you're somebody who likes RTSs. And then we'll do one more. Do, do. We've got Lawful, big supporter of the channel. Let's see. Let's scroll and pick right here. No, that's a lame one. That's the Minecraft uh, thing. It's like a Minecraft minigame server premium pass or something. I don't know. I don't even know if he plays Minecraft. Uh, Heavy Burden. Never heard of it. Sounds interesting. Lawful. Sounds like it might be something similar to Heavy Rain, just by the name, if I had to guess. Which, uh, Heavy Rain is like a RPG game. It's one of those games where you control characters and, like, go through their lives as they solve puzzles. Um, yeah, it's weird. Probably not something I'd ever play, but sounds interesting. It's it's one of those games I think I'd enjoy watching more than uh, playing myself. I need to put my Santa hat on. Let's see. All right, so that is our giveaway done for the beginning of the stream. Um, I'm just going to send those out after stream like I've been doing the past couple times. Just to keep us moving along. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. But that means we can go get into the game. So Xenonauts 2 is what we're going to be playing today. Let me go ahead and switch back over to just chatting screen. Xenonauts 2 is what we're going to be playing today. Um, for those unfamiliar, it's very similar to XCOM. It's a top-down game where you control soldiers as they try to fight off a alien invasion. And I'm going to put some of the more active members of the community in as my soldiers, and uh, when they inevitably die, I'm just going to cycle through the Discord server and see who I can find. So, let's go. Or, if you want to be on the list, you can be put... You can donate to Jingle Jam, and I'll put you at the top of the list if you really want to. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Let's close that. Close that. Pull the game up, turn off my music. Let's see. Pull that up. There we go. Get my OBS set up. Xenonauts 2 should be getting pulled up here momentarily. Now, I've not played this at all, but I did play the original Xenonauts. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just understood. So. The original Xenonauts was a similar game, just like XCOM, but it took place back in, like, the 1970s, so it was, like, in the middle of the Cold War. 
Um, this one takes place in a alternate universe, uh, 2009, I want to say, uh, where the Soviet Union is still a thing. So that'll be interesting. Um, but that's pretty much all I know is that it's alternate universe and the Soviets are still around. Aside from it, you know, building off the original Xenonauts. I don't think it's a direct sequel. Like, I don't think the events of the original happened in this one, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Uh, what do we want the name of our campaign to be? We will just go for uh, Operation Buffalo. Buffalo, we'll say. Um, I have played before, so I'm thinking I'll, I'll go veteran. Unforgiving difficulty intended for experienced players. Not advisable for your first campaign unless you played a lot of Xenonauts 1. I did play a decent amount of Xenonauts 1. I wouldn't say I was the best at it, but this will hopefully make things interesting, which we can uh, tweak all our settings over here. Which does this... Yeah, so we get a little less money, a little bit more starting panic, a little less monthly funding. Enemy quantity increased, enemy accuracy modifier 110, UFO weapon damage, tactical mission timers. Um, show enemy health. This option controls whether the uh, enemy units sighted in tactical missions display their current hit points and armor above their heads. That sounds like it'd be nice, but I think I'll go without it. Show inflicted damage. I do want that. Allow auto-resolve auto air combat. That's nice if we, like, uh, are significantly better than the enemies uh, in a fight. We can just auto-resolve it, go home, rather than, you know, potentially getting shot down by my own awfulness. Uh, free attack rotation. What does that mean? Soldiers, soldiers will automatically rotate towards their target before firing their weapon at them. This option controls whether this automatic rotation consumes time units or not. Uh, I will say yes, it does consume time units. Because that's how Xenonauts 1 was. Armor destroyed on death. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Achievement difficulty veteran. That sounds good to me. So, if we... Uh, if this ends up being fun, I may actually make this a new series over on the other channel. Uh, depending on how it pans out, we'll see. Uh, there's a couple games I've done for Jingle Jam so far that I, I want to do that with. Like, Signalis was really fun. I would love to continue Signalis. Um... Xenonauts 2, I've always loved Xenonauts. I loved the original... Uh, well, I loved XCOM Enemy Unknown. It, it, That wasn't the original, but it's like the new version. I've not played XCOM 2, but I do have it. I've heard it's good. But Xenonauts, let's go and jump in. I've not played the tutorial. Let's go and play the tutorial. The year is 2009. The world teeters on the brink of nuclear war. Tensions between capitalist and communist nations are at boiling point. Every opportunity for peace has failed, as if an invisible hand inexorably steers humanity towards annihilation. We Xenonauts know the truth. The dark forces poisoning our politics are not human in origin, and we must protect our planet against this extraterrestrial threat however we can. After years spent gathering information on an enemy that few believe exist, we are finally ready to strike back. The war for our future begins now. There you go. So aliens are controlling politics and steering the communists and capitalists to almost annihilate each other through nuclear war. Which sounds, you know, like a story that would be uh, right in the midst of the Cold War. Which I guess in this case the Cold War is still going on. Oh, let's see. Let me go ahead and... Take my tea bag out of my tea. All right, welcome to Xenonauts 2. You control a secret organization attempting to protect the world from an alien invasion. This short tutorial will explain the basic controls and events leading up to the start of the campaign. Uh, this looks very similar to the original, which is good. So I should be able to intuit a lot of this, I would imagine. I'm going to put this back over here. Go ahead, proceed. This game features nested tooltips that allow uh, players to access further information uh, where desired. Anywhere you see a text link, simply hover over that link for an additional tooltip. Hover, hover over the white text 
uh, to proceed. Nested tooltips can themselves contain links which spawn further nested tooltips. However, as tooltips disappear when you move your mouse, you must lock them in place before you do this. You can lock a tooltip simply by pressing middle mouse button or simply waiting three seconds uh, for the progress circle at the top side. Lock this tooltip and open this link to proceed. Cool. Chief Scientist. My work on our radar array is now complete. Theoretically, Atlas Base should now be capable of tracking any alien UFOs within our radar range. Thank God. It wasn't exactly easy to borrow all those things you wanted. What happens now? We wait, and alien craft should pass in the next couple days. At that point, the general takes over, so I guess we're the general. What a scary thought. Assuming he has returned from his expedition. Don't worry, he'll be back in a few days. Until then, the commander should be perfectly capable of filling in. Oh, I guess we're the commander, not the general. So, the blue circle around your base uh, indicates the radar range of that facility. Uh, UFOs flying into this area can be detected and will then be attacked using uh, interceptor aircraft. Game speed? Cool. Sounds good to me. Geoscape anomaly, so that's these little things. The two anomalies on the map uh, signify hostile action that have raised local panic. They are not interactive, but may indicate a presence of a possibly hidden problem affecting that region. However, at the start of the game, these are usually genera generated by UFOs flying across the map. Alright, so here's our first UFO. We can go ahead and launch interceptors. We will send Angel 1. Sounds good to me. Oh, we only have one. I thought we usually had two at the start. We could uh, auto-resolve combat, so I guess we'll do that. Cool. Ooh, we got damaged. We'll accept the result. And we can launch a combat team, so we can send our Skyhawk. That will be our troops. Uh, I do need to go ahead and rename these guys. I am going to be renaming these guys after uh, people in the community. We've got nine total. We're going to see who survives. So, uh, I'll start with our... Jingle Jam list, I suppose. Let me go a tab over and pull that up. See who our winners are so far. Um, let's see. We can go ahead and put... Oh, tactical mission. This screen allows you to change soldiers and equipment aboard the dropship being launched. Uh, however, let's simply press the launch dropship button and proceed to tactical co uh, combat. Okay, so they don't want me to change anything right now. That's fine, I guess. Oh, it's not actually... I guess it will. Maybe. Oh no, it's not letting me tab away. Oh well. Um, yeah, it's not actually letting me do anything, but I somehow lost that guy's C4. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the butt. <laughs> All right, we go. Hold the launch, Commander. The General is back. Fortuitous timing. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. There's a half a dozen trucks pulling up uh, to the blast doors. Those appear to be cleaner vehicles. It seems highly probable that the general would eventually join forces with them. Exactly. Commander, put your men on alert and deploy them to the entry tunnel. Something's definitely wrong here. Oh, okay, so... I guess we're not gonna go get that UFO. We have enemies attacking our base, it seems like. Hey, Speedy Moon, how you doing today? I've not had a chance to rename anybody yet because I'm doing the tutorial, but as soon as I do, I'm going to be uh, renaming all our soldiers. I like this music so far. You guys will have to tell me if it's too loud or too quiet. Camera controls. Uh, camera and tactical combat can be trolled in many ways. You can move the mouse or press WASD. Okay. Rotating, that is nice. We didn't have that in the first game. Uh, you can change the camera height using scroll wheel. Cool. Uh, each unit in tactical combat uses time units to perform actions. Uh, these are refreshed each turn and are shared between all types of action. For example, a soldier that spends their time units on movement would be unable to fire their weapons. 
The number of time units that a soldier has remaining is indicated, is indicated by the green bar at the bottom of the UI. In this case, the soldier has 60 time units available. So that's this bar right here that's very similar to the previous game. I'm gonna die as often as I crash ships, aren't I? Um, I don't know about that one. You might. Uh, we are playing on veteran because I did play the previous game. So hopefully not that awfully. Uh, the goal is to try and keep people in as long as possible, but you may inevitably die because this is probably going to be a war of attrition. All right, in this case, the soldier has 60 time units available. Let's proceed. Welcome back to Atlas, General. Who are you? Who are your new friends? Can't help but notice they've got a lot of guns. The Xenonauts project has been terminated, Director. Lay down your weapons. There's no need for this to turn ugly. Dot, dot, dot. Earth is under attack, General. You know that. We're not going to surrender our planet without a fight. Director, you're making a mistake. There is no extraterrestrial threat. Open the blast doors and surrender, or people are going to get killed. No extraterrestrial threat? What happened to you, General? Director, this isn't a discussion. I'm giving you five minutes to make a decision. You're outnumbered, and there's nowhere to run. Think carefully about your choice over and out. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. If we surrender, what's the probability we turn up dead a week from now? Based on everything we know about the cleaners, approximately 100%. Yeah, that's what I figured too. Now seems like a good time to ev evacuate the backup facility. Oh, I just realized my face is blocking the uh, guy. Hold on. Let me go back to the game. Oh, that is not the one I meant to move. I want to move the webcam. Let's move me up here. Let's see. Transition. There we go. Now you guys can see the chief scientist. Now seems like a good time to evacuate to the backup facility. The backup facility? I wasn't aware we had one. I know, nor was the general. Commander, we need your men to hold the tunnels while we get everyone aboard the helicopter. Buy us as much time as you can, but don't get yourself killed. Now that the general's gone, we can't afford to lose you too. Cool. Movement. You can plan a movement path by uh, for a soldier by left-clicking anywhere on the battlefield. Okay, so I guess I have to select and click. The number at the top shows how many time units the soldier will have remaining when they move to that location. Left-click the same tile again to order your soldier to, uh, to perform that planned move. Cool. Makes sense. You can rotate a soldier by right-clicking anywhere on the battlefield. It costs one time unit for every 45 degrees of uh, rotation. Crouch. In turn. We have more friends now. Cool. Love that. Can't help but notice everybody is not wearing helmet. Oh. Here's our enemies. Attacking enemies. Hover over your mouse to show the highlighted enemy. The green number on the left indicates the cross... On the left of the crosshair indicates the time unit cost of the shot. The white number on the right of the crosshair indicates the percent chance to hit the shot. Click the enemy to order your soldier to attack. Okay, sounds good to me. Bang. Hit. Damage randomization. You scored a hit and inflicted 30 damage. Uh, we weapons will inflict between 50% and 200% of their damage uh, with each hit, depending on the part of the body hit. Your soldier has enough time units to attack again, so fire a second shot at the same target. Cool. Next soldier, you have successfully killed an enemy. Uh, as your soldier does not have any more time units remaining to perform any further attacks, we will select the next soldier. Press space to mark your current soldier inactive and automatically select the next closest active soldier. Sounds good to me. Weapon range. Squares drawn. Uh, show... Words. Squares drawn between the shooter and the target represent the shot path. The path is green where the 
weapon is within range, but firing beyond that, it turns orange, where the weapon is firing beyond its maximum range. Weapons have a lower chance to lower hit chance and inflict reduced damage when attacking beyond maximum range. Click the target to attack them. Miss. Unfortunately, your soldier has missed their shot and inflicted no damage. Press space. Cool. Short range weapons. Armed with a shotgun, which is much more effective at close range. Move to the highlighted tile. Okay. Fire modes. Most fire. Uh, most weapons have several fire modes with varying accuracy and time unit costs. You already put me in a grinder pit along with your rover. True, I did. <laughs> Uh, the most expensive fire mode is selected by default uh, when targeting, targeting an enemy, as more expensive fire modes provide more accuracy per time unit spent. However, at this range it would be preferable to fire two shots at lower accuracy due to the passive short range hit chance bonus of the, this weapon, since it's a shotgun. Uh, hover, hover over the target and right click to change to the cheaper fire mode and then attack the target. Okay, sounds good to me. Although the shot had a high hit chance, your soldier still missed. Bad luck will happen in this game, and part of the challenge is learning how to best mitigate it when it does occur. In this case, simply attack the target a second time, okay? There we go. Thankfully, you did not have any more bad luck. Press space to select the next active soldier. God, I want Portillo's? What is Portillo's? I have no idea what Portillo's is. Hover over the selected enemy. This shot has a low hit chance because there is a large intervening cover object in the shot path. Full details about how high the hit chance are calculated is shown at the bottom right of the screen. In this case, the crates are reducing it by 60%. Only the highest intervening cover value is used to reduce crit chance, and any cover or crash units adjacent to the shooter are always ignored. Okay. Most terrain in Xenonauts 2 is destructible, something that players can use to their advantage. Select the highlighted soldier by clicking on them. Pre-fire mode allows soldiers to target anything. In this case, you can use it to, to destroy the intervening crates. Hold down control to activate free fire mode and then click on the crates. Okay. Cool. Click on the enemy and take the shot. Can do. He's dead. Grenades. Grenades can be an effective at inflicting damage and removing cover in the area. Click the button for a demolition charge to select as if it's an active weapon. Okay. Grenades travel in an arc, allowing them, to, allowing them to be thrown over walls or cover objects. Click the highlighted tile to throw the grenade. Ah, right there. It's a really good restaurant chain, but it's amazing. Hmm. Never heard of it. I don't think we have those where I live, but it sounds interesting. Your soldier lacks uh, sufficient time units to fire their main weapon, but the pistol in their secondary slot can still be fired. Click the pistol to select it. Your soldier will now perform attacks with the pistol, allowing them to finish off the wounded cleaners. Click on the highlighted enemy to fire at them. Okay. Dead. The low time, time unit cost of the... Ugh. The low time unit cost for firing the pistol allow your soldier to fire again. Click the highlighted enemy to fire at them. Can do. Damn, good job, guy. Press spacebar to select the next active soldier. Shot preview. Our final soldier has a decision to make. Their shotgun is relatively inaccurate at this range, and the target is behind heavy cover. Closing the distance and flanking the target might be beneficial. Using shot preview mode will allow us to make a decision about whether or not it would be worthwhile. Click the highlighted tile to move, the, to plot a move path, okay? Don't have any either. It's around Chicago and its main thing is known for is a chocolate cake shake. Ooh, I love chocolate. That sounds good. Shot preview mode will, will show you the hit chance and time unit cost of taking the shot from the end of the displayed move path. So if I click here, my, to see the highlight values from your current position, hover over the highlighted enemy. Hold the shift key while ho still hovering over the target to activate shot preview mode. Ah, okay. That is a good thing to know, and that's why I really wanted to play the tutorial rather than just jumping straight in, to find 
Nice little stuff like that. Uh, to proceed, click the target while in shot preview mode. While shot preview mode is active. Okay, sounds good to me. He runs up and shoots, and they are all dead. Congratulations, you have eliminated all hostile units. Press in turn to proceed. Oh boy, we got more guys. Good work, Commander. The helicopter is airborne. You should be able to escape through the tunnels. So I'm going to have to retreat. Overwatch fire. Order the selected unit to move to the highlighted tile. Okay. Dead. Your soldier has just been killed through enemy overwatch fire. If a unit ends its turn with enough time units uh, remaining to fire its weapon, it may then perform overwatch fire during the enemy turn. Suppressing an enemy will prevent overwatch fire, and flashbangs are a good way to generate suppression. Select the flashbang and throw it at the highlighted tile. Okay. Sounds good to me. So all those guys are suppressed. This guy already fired, so we only have to worry about these three. All these enemies have been suppressed. Suppression immediately removes all time units from the selected unit, which prevents them from being able to overwatch fire as they can no longer afford to fire their weapon. Suppressed units will also recover 50% of their normal time units the following turn. Smoke. An alternative way to avoid losing soldiers is to make them harder to hit. Each tile of smoke reduces the hit chance of any shot passing through it, so smoke grenades are an excellent way to protect your soldiers. Select the smoke grenade and throw here. Can do. Good work. All enemies are either out of time units, suppressed, or screened by smoke. Move your soldier to the highlighted tile to complete the tutorial. Can do. Nice work. Once you're clear of the base, I'll transmit the coordinates of the backup facility. There's our tutorial. So, now we get to actually fight the aliens, which is gonna be fun. So we didn't actually get to go and take on the UFO we took down, but we do get to set up a new base and basically start over. Excuse me. Ah, Commander. Good thing you finally made an appearance. Welcome to the backup facility. I had a command room and cache of emergency supplies installed a while back. No getting around the fact that our new home is a derelict nuclear bunk bunker full of 60s era junk, though. Hope you're fine with cold showers, cold food, and, well, cold everything. That's hardly our biggest problem. My recent study suggests once estimated mass is factored in, extraterrestrial activity appears to be follow a mathematically predictable pattern. More precisely, exponential growth and we're nearing the end of the curve. In plain English, the UFOs are arriving in our skies will soon begin to increase rapidly in size and or quantity. I doubt it will be long enough before the aliens launch a full-blown invasion. Great, as if things weren't bad enough already. How long do we have? Weeks? Couple of months at most? I suggest you make the most of them. All right, we get a new base. So, let's see. And a Cold War. You are right, we do have the new Cold War going on because we do have the new Soviet Union over here. Now, the strategy in the original Xenonauts was to place uh, your base in a spot that covers the most territory possible. So, like, here in the Middle East was usually a good spot because you get coverage over Africa, Europe, um, Russia, and... Southeast Asia, or just Asia in general. So I think I'm going to go right about here-ish. I want to see if I can get the tip of Africa if I can. Yeah, we'll go there. Uh, We will name this... What do we think we want to name this? Hmm. We will name this... I've not actually named any of my bases in space, space Pirate Sim. 
Hmm. We'll name it... I guess just Buffalo Base. Buffalo Base. There we go. So that'll be our main base. And we start. We go. Atlas Base. We must tempor temporarily clear out enemies of Atlas Base so we can recover scientific data and supplies needed to continue the war against the aliens. Uh, victory rewards, new research options, loss effects, game over. Oh, they're already putting one of these missions in. Okay. Show mission briefing. Eliminate, uh, eliminate all hostile units. Important data and supplies left behind uh, when our organization evacuated Atlas Base. As their assault teams recently departed the base, the cleaner forces now present are lightly armed. Eliminate all hostile units within the facility so we can reclaim what we need to continue the war. Victory conditions, eliminate all hostile units. Loss conditions, all Xenonauts are eliminated. So, we go there, and we win, and if we lose, all our guys die, and we lose the game. What a... What a dilemma. Alright, so let's go ahead and, I guess, launch combat team, because I don't really have anything else I can do. Uh, launch aircraft. So, now I can actually m modify these guys. This guy had one of those. A rebreather. Immune to envir environmental gas damage, e.g. smoke inhalation. Huh. Neat. We have all kinds of stuff now. We start with a stun baton, it looks like, so we can actually bring units back unconscious already. So, this guy has a shield. We have a couple of assaults. Plenty of riflemen. All these guys are corporals, by the way. So we have a sniper, we got a heavy... What other things do we have? We got grenadiers. We have one of those. We have one of those. Okay, so it's just the grenadier we don't have yet. So, I think I am going to pop this guy in. Well, let's see. Shield, what are you? Ba -ba 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 -ba. This guy's accurate. He would probably be good as a sniper. High bravery. High bravery, high time units. This guy would probably be good as a assault. Well, let's go back over here. Your accuracy isn't the best, so I'm going to put you back as a rifleman for now. Can I? I can rearrange. Good, 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 good. So who has the highest accuracy? You have the highest accuracy. So I'll put you down here. Uh, we're going to make you Kitsunagari. Kitsunagari. Except. Let's see, our shield. Decent time units. De eh, okay, accuracy. That's okay, because they're only using pistol. Um, can he carry more stuff? He has a slight penalty to TU due to carry weight. I can... Let's see. Tactical module, sensor package, worn atop a soldier's tactical vest. Small boost accuracy. Okay. You have heavy armor. Okay, I think you're fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Let's see. Let me pull up my key list real quick. Pop over here. Let's go ahead and put Code as our shield guy. Assault. We'll put Lawful in here. Oh, that didn't save. Let's go ahead and put H-Ray in here. see. H-Ray 9. Then we have our Riflemen. Well, who do we want to be our Heavy? We can put... We'll put Jonesy in as our Heavy. Uh, you're a bit overloaded. You can get rid of your demolition charge.
Oh, actually, you can carry more is what it is. Okay, so I'm actually going to load you up with both a Demolition Charge and a C4. I didn't realize the C4 would be that big. Um, what else can you pack? Probably extra ammo would be smart. We want to have a little bit of a TU penalty, because that means their strength is going to go up. With time. It, it trains them up to be stronger, basically. Uh, we'll give you one of those. We'll give you health kit. 5 TU penalty. We'll hold on to both of those. Yeah, that's fine. Same thing over here. One of those. One of those. That's fine. This guy is going to be... We'll say Maxi Killer. This guy is going to be Peace Potatoes. This guy is going to be... Uh, we'll say Sound Scheme. And this guy... I think we're going to change him to be our Grenadier. What kind of rounds does he have? Heavy explosive rounds? Um, that's fine. And we're going to turn him to being names be like, or names are like. I think that's right. Sounds good to me. Do I have Speedy Moon on here? I don't have Speedy Moon on here. Here, we're good. Swap out Samuel Delaney. We'll put Speedy Moon right here. We'll swap out H-Ray for now. We'll swap in Speedy. Hello, I would like to assign you to the Skyhawk. There we go. Oh, I misspelled his name. Speedy Moon. There we go. All right, so we are mostly set up. I need to give him that. Equipment, med kit. We'll take this back off. Give you extra ammo instead. One extra ammo. Good enough. All right, four TU penalty. Peace potatoes can carry more. Let's see, what can you take? You can take... A knife. What does a knife do? Oh, it's just a melee weapon. Okay. Pack you with the C4. C4s were always my favorite thing to pack around to uh, fill out space. Uh, middle word, my name changes all the time. I never have it the same. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I could also rename you to be Mr. White if you want, but uh, it's whatever you want to do. Let's see, you already have one of those. We will give you a med kit. Move that down. We'll... Oh, not two. C4. You have all kinds of carry weight. Sound scheme. Names are like. We'll swap out one of these packs of grenades with the other ones. Heavy smoke rounds, heavy explosive rounds. We'll we'll pack some smoke rounds. And then I'll give you another magazine for your pistol. Jonesy, you've got some carry weight left. Let's see. We'll pack you with another demo charge. Oh, still more. Um, smoke. Yeah, that looks good to me. And Kitsunagari, you've got a lot of weight left. Let's see. I don't know if you can stack these. No, you can't stack them. Okay. Uh, in that case, you're going to be pretty far away. I'll give you another smoke. I'll give you... more ammo... 
What else can I pack you with? Med kit. Still more space. Okay. A knife. Sure. I don't know when you would ever use your knife as a sniper, but hey, we gotta fill out space. Alright, so we have Corporal Code, Corporal Lawful, Corporal Speedy Moon, Sergeant Maxi Killer, Corporal Peace Potatoes, Corporal Sound Scheme, Corporal Names Names Are Like or Names Be Like, Corporal Jonesy, and Sergeant Kitsugari uh, Kitsugari. So let's go ahead and launch our dropship. And go back to this base. Commence tactical battle. I'm enjoying this music so far. Time to see how this goes. Well, according to that mission description, uh, if this goes poorly, we lose the game immediately. <laughs> so I bet it's going to be a fairly easy one just to like introduce us to the game. Uh, important data and supplies were left behind when our organization evacuated Atlas Base. As our assault teams have recently departed the base, uh, the cleaner forces now present are lightly armed. Eliminate all hostile units when the, within the facility so we can reclaim what we need to continue the war. Who's going to be the first to die? Me. Maybe. We don't know. Commander, this is, crit this is a critically important mission. We left a lot of important things behind when we evacuated Atlas including years of research data. You need to clear the facility of hostiles so we can recover what we need. The main cleaner force has already returned home, so hopefully it won't be too hard. If you run into the general, well, this isn't the time for sentimentality. He's not on our side anymore. All right, sounds good to me. Opening doors. Units in adjacent tiles can manually open or close a door using a right click. This costs four time units per to perform. So, we have four ways we can go. I think we go probably counterclockwise. So, I think we go this way first. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm going to crouch. Take a shot. That's fine. Move Maxi Killer right up behind him. Let's see, we will take a. Oh, you don't have any stun grenades. We'll just take a shot. Alright. No dice. Uh, Kit. Let's move you here. We'll crouch you. Uh, you can't take a shot. You can fire your pistol, though. I'm hoping to suppress this guy. No dice. As his ship was crippled by a connector, games aren't nice to me. True. All right, so. Won't be able to run up that far. You can run over here and take cover. Do do. Do do. Do do. I always try to crouch when I can. Oh, he has to turn so he doesn't have any time units. Alright, we'll do that in case somebody comes through this door. Alright, I have multiple other people. I think four is probably enough for this one guy. We'll have these other guys go the other way. I think. Uh, this guy can go here. Here's our LMG. You can go here. Face that way. And then our Grenadier. Yeah, we don't want to overwatch with this because we could accidentally kill some guys. So we'll switch to our pistol. 
accidentally kill friendlies is what I mean. And he doesn't have a clear shot, so I'll just crouch him. Actually, I'll have him face this way. All right, in turn. Because we, we want to deal with as few people as possible. Wow. That shield was not worth much. Okay. Because it's already broken. All right, let's... Uh, we'll do full auto on this guy. All right, his cover's down. Yep. Hit him. Missed, but he's suppressed. Okay, so he can't take any more shots. This guy can go down. Hopefully. Nope. Take another hit. Okay, we hit him. Both those guys are down. This guy still has a couple free shots. Well, not free shots, but easy to make shots. Ish. Um, I should move him to cover, though. Kit, switch to your rifle. Let's see. We only have two different kinds of shot we can make with this. May as well take the guarantee. Did not do as much damage as I had hoped. Take two shots. Alright, pull this out. Go over here. Fire. <laughs> A little bit of an overkill, but that's okay. There's no kill like overkill. Kyle is Hufflepuff. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm new here, though, so who knows? Uh, true. <laughs> also, welcome to the community. Um, happy to have new people always join. Uh, as mentioned, I'm going to try and get more of uh, people in chat and people in the Discord in as soldiers. Right now, I've already renamed everybody, but maybe on the next mission, I can get you in. Let's see. Uh, that is fine. I did delete that man. <laughs> uh, so, names are like, cannot move any further. We'll go ahead and open this. All right, we have a new enemy spotted. Let's go ahead and move over here. Take a shot. Ah, oh, there's two guys in here. All right, let's uh, crouch. This guy can move up and crouch. Take two shots. Okay, he's down. Jonesy can get in here. Crouch. We'll take a shot with the pistol. 69. Nice. And it's a miss. And then we have Sound Scheme, who we will move over here. He doesn't really have the... There we go. We'll crouch him as well. And he can take some Overwatch shots if this guy moves. Into view, at least. Um, aside from that, I think we have to end our turn. Overkill is good. Yes, it is. Oh. Bleeding wounds. Jonesy is now bleeding. <laughs> that was a friendly fire. One of your units has suffered a bleeding wound, and it will suffer 5 HP damage at the end of each turn until it is healed. Using a med kit on a soldier will automatically heal all bleeding wounds in addition to restoring lost HP. Alright, so Jonesy is bleeding. He is bleeding pretty badly, in fact. So, I'm going to need to use Lawful. And he's going to have to swap that out and heal him. There we go. That counts for Overwatch. What the heck? Alright. He doesn't have any more shots he can take, so I'll just face him back that way. Jonesy, let's switch you to your LMG. Uh, we will do our best to suppress this guy. What a wonderful shot, and suppress this guy too. That is great. All right, let's move this guy in. We are going to... We'll take the two shots. That guy has been deleted. Oh yeah, I forgot we can rotate now. All right, speedy. 
Uh, I'll just crouch you where you are. And then Sound Scheme can move over here. I'll face him this way and crouch. All right, over here, we still have this one guy. We'll take as many pistol shots as we can. Did he die? He did die. Good job, Code. All right, let's move you in the corner. That way you're not front and center because you don't have your shield anymore. Maxi killer, we've got names. All right, Maxi Killer, I want you to go ahead and heal names. Because he's kind of low. And then I'll move you up over here. Peace Potatoes can run over here. And Crouch. Names, you can move over here. And I will... Do I want to toggle Overwatch on the grenade launcher? Probably not. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> uh, Kit... I don't really know where I can move you to. You'd probably do better over here. But these guys don't really have a good spot. I'll move you over here. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? All right, so that's good. I already dealt with the bleed wound. All right, let's go. Things are moving. That door closed behind us. Why did the this door also close behind us? What the heck? Are doors automatic in this game? Hold on, Speedy. Check this out. I guess doors are automatic in this game. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that. You're doing a great job defeating the minimally armed scientists with your military force. Uh, no, these guys aren't scientists. These guys are, like, security guards for the enemies. It's okay. They're the bad guys. That's what all the propaganda tells me, at least. Uh, Lawful needs to run up. He doesn't have a good spot to run up, though. I'll move him there. Crouch. Jonesy, you're going to be doing work, probably, if uh, somebody pops up. All right, so we got two doors here. We'll crouch. Peace potatoes. We'll move you over here. Face that way. Crouch. Code, we'll move you behind this cover. And crouch. Names. I don't have a good spot for names. We'll move him back. And then Kit... We'll put over here. We're just going to trust that she won't accidentally uh, friendly fire somebody. All right. Yeah, we'll just roll on. Hey, buddy. All right, so we can pincer these guys because they're between all our forces, basically. So let's move... Who do we want to move in first? We can have Code take a couple shots here. Do the same thing. Fire as many single shots as you can. Hopefully suppressing one of these guys. Oh! Well, that hurt. That's rude, sir. Um, frag grenade. Can I get you on the edge of the blast radius? I can. That works. I don't know if, uh... Okay, that did 35. How much do they normally do? 35 kinetic. Okay, so that did the average amount of damage. Uh, it doesn't seem like damage falls off on grenades, which is good. Alright, so he's hurt. We can have... Maxi Killer run in. We can have one of these guys run in, actually. Actually. 
How much is a snapshot? Snapshot is 19. Let's go here. Code is an awful shot missing at that range. I mean, he has been shot, so I'm not going to complain too much. Blast that guy in the face. Let's see. Also, you have a shotgun, so you don't really have to aim. <laughs> you just have to be close. Uh, Lawful can go over here. I'll just crouch him. Sound Scheme can go over here. Won't have enough time to do a snapshot, but he can at least look at the guy aggressively. Um, Maxi Killer, you need 24 TUs to do a burst fire. So if I get you, like, here. Let's roll with that. There we go, that guy's down. Exactly, I thought it through. <laughs> sure, guy. Um, alright, so, who else do we have? We have names... Names can move into this spot and look that way. Crouch. Kit can move up behind him. Look that way and crouch. Jonesy is kind of out of place. We need to move him up. And look this way and crouch. And I'll end my turn there. He shouldn't have gotten shot then. True, but he, he has a shield. His... Well, he had a shield. His job was to get shot at. Kill an alien with reaction fire during a tactical combat mission. Nice, we just got an achievement. Alright, um, let's see. Lawful can go in here. Open this door. Take a peek around this corner. Nobody? Nobody. Okay. Uh, he can crouch. Sound scheme can go in here. I'll put him here and face that way and crouch. We'll have peace potatoes go in over here. This is a game where you do need to check your corners. Because aliens and enemies will just kind of sit in the corner and wait for you to uh, pass in front of them. Let's see, we'll put code in the corner over here. He can't turn around, that's fine. Maxi Killer can go over here. We'll have him open that door next turn. Names can run over here. We'll have Kit run up over here. Actually, over here. Everybody can be standing this round. Uh, Jonesy, you can run in. I don't really have a good spot for you. I'll put you along this wall. Should have had a better shield. Well, it's the start of the game. I don't have the good stuff yet. But I agree, he should have had a better shield. Shouldn't have died to one blast, or it shouldn't have been destroyed to one blast from an SMG. Alright, Speedy Moon, you look that way. And I think that's this turn. Oh, hello, guy. I don't like this. I don't like you being in my face. You're invading my personal space, sir. Can I fire multiple times? No, I can't. Okay. So, Speedy. Come over here. You get out of the way. Ow. Rude, sir. You blast him. I can't fire twice anyway, so I'll just take the higher chance shot. There we go. Maxi is hurt. Uh, can you heal yourself? You don't have enough time units, that's fine. 
All right, Code, you open the door. Nobody over there. I do need to check this corner. Okay, nobody's in here. Move him over here. Look this way. Okay, he can't move any further. So we only need to go this way, it looks like. So let's post up sound scheme over here. We'll keep Jonesy where he's at. Move him forward a little bit. Lawful can come up in front of Jonesy and crouch. Names can run in. Kit can run in. We'll put Kit right here. And Peace Potatoes can run in as well over here. Uh, who's hurt? This is Maxi Killer. He can't do anything this round. Code can't do anything this round. Jonesy's a bit hurt. Names is a bit hurt. But nobody's awful. Maxi Killer, we can heal up next round. He should be good. So, we'll move on. I don't like that the door's closed. That wasn't in the previous game. Alright, you heal yourself. Okay, you're much better off now. Uh, Speedy Moon, we'll put you over here because you're an assault. Crouch. And we're going to start stacking guys up behind you. Uh, names, I don't think we're going to need. I'll put him over here, actually. Kit, I don't think we really have a good spot for Kit either. We'll put Kit over here. Actually, we'll put Kit here. In case I do have a spot, I can move them. I don't think I will, though. Code can move up. All right, let's cycle through, see who else we got. Sound scheme, Kit. Lawful is in a good spot already, so we'll just end turn. Jonesy's not acted this turn, that is fine. No, nah, you're not cannon fodder. All right, let's move these guys in. Lawful, you peek, you're unhurt. Oh. You. I recognize you, all of you. Why don't I remember anything about you? It doesn't matter. I will not allow you to interfere. Okay, so the general is acting weird. That's not great. Um, you die. You can you just stun him? Oh, there's another guy in here. Here, continue doing that. Continue doing that. Oh, okay. That didn't go how I thought it would. I thought he would get downed instantly. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Do I have anybody else with a, a stun baton? This guy has a stun baton, but he's it's going to be in his back pocket. Um, Peace potatoes. That guy there. All right, Lawful, you step back. Spray him down. One more shot. Hey, We love to see it. Alright, so the general, I kind of want to take a live if I can. Um. You. Do you have anything in your back pocket? You don't. You Well, you have a demolition charge, but that's not what I need. Thanks, Lou. My chances are looking great. Uh, true. What I can do is... I don't know how hurt he is. I tried to stun him. If I... I got smoke. Code has a demo charge. 
Does anybody have a stun grenade? I thought I equipped a couple people with stun grenades. Oh, they're they're on the assaults, and the assaults don't have any time units left. Okay. I need to get a couple more stun grenades then, then. Replace some of these smokes. Code, you can run in. You can take a shot. Don't kill him. Ideally, we can just suppress him. That way he can't shoot anymore. Oh, okay. Um, you. You? You. You have a med kit? You don't have a med kit. You. You do have a med kit. You run over here, heal him. Uh, Kit, come over here, I think. Can you take a shot? No friendly fire. All right. <laughs> this is a cluster. Maxi Killer has not acted this turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you heal yourself? You did heal yourself already. Okay, I need you to run in some. As far as you can. Stand in the doorway. Don't get crushed. Names are like. Has not acted. Uh, he can shoot a pistol. No! I killed him! Oh, uh, that caused him to fall unconscious. He's not dead! Oh! I just got the achieve for it. Cool, we can take him back alive. Ideally. I wonder if that's a thing that will change the outcome of the game, if you kill him or if you take him in stunned. It'd be cool if it does. Everybody's wounded. Wonderful. We got 10 cleaner submachine guns, 10 cleaner corpses. We captured the general, and we have research records. Wonderful. Your your blah, your organization is now working towards locating the headquarters uh, from which the cleaners control their global operations. This investigation will progress more quickly if certain cleaners, uh, if certain cleaner-related tactical missions are completed, or if cleaner units can be captured alive for interrogation. Okay, so us having the general probably helps that a lot. Good work bringing the general back alive, Commander. We've been questioning him since he arrived, and I think he'll be able to extract plenty of useful inter uh, information. I'm honestly not sure what to think about this situation. Something doesn't add up. The general has done as much as anyone for the cause, so him willingly turning against us seems unlikely. Frankly, he seemed entirely like an entirely different person during the interrogation. Sometimes he could complain about blanks in his memory, other times there would be abrupt flashes of fury and rage. Occasionally he would trail off mid-sentence and simply stare into space, confused. I had our chief scientist perform a brain scan, and the results just raised further questions. There's significant swelling and bleeding, like you'd see in a stroke victim, but there's also evidence of localized tissue burns. Exactly how someone ends up suffering severe burns inside their head isn't clear, but it seems too much of a coincidence to be unrelated. I'm starting to think the rumors of extraterrestrial mind control technology might be true, and it comes with some nasty side effects. Sadly, it doesn't sound like the general will ever tell us what happened to him. Honestly, I don't think if he even remembered. Uh, honestly, I don't think he even remembers it himself. But he spent at least a week in cleaner captivity, providing them with information about our organization and capabilities. We'll soon have him doing the same thing for us. Long term, I hope the brain damage heals and we'll get our old general back. Although I've, I've got to admit, it seems very unlikely. Either way, your job is safe. He'll be staying in a cell for the rest of the war. All right, so we've got some new research projects. We've got aerial warfare, combat vehicles, and we can do an autopsy on cleaner agents. Um, the door was closed for a reason, Commander. Thank you, dude. I, you don't even have a name, I don't think. I think you're just called the lead scientist. 
All right, I think we're going to go for probably the autopsy. Project cannot be canceled. Oh, so I have to do this first, but it's only going to take eight hours, so I can switch soon. Um, next up, I do need to hire more soldiers. Recruit soldiers. Um, in this case, red is dead. So we want people with high time units, ideally. So you're good. You have both high time units and high accuracy. You look pretty strong, too. Janna looks pretty good. About accuracy. You have basically no strength. I'm going to leave you be. Reflexes. Accuracy. Mm, 49 isn't great. What about bravery? You've got high HP, high bravery, and high reflexes, but less of TU, accuracy, and strength. I know st strength can be trained. Accuracy and time units, I think, just come as you level up, so I'll hire you too. How much money do I have? 2.5 mil. Okay, so... Oh, I don't have the capacity. Um... Alright, let's switch this around. You undo... I'd rather have... this one, because it seems like a better well-rounded one. Uh, we only have this one that's below 60. This one has 44 accuracy and 46 bravery, so we'll go with Jana Makarov and rename them. Alright, and we need to build some extra space. Access lifts, storeroom. We should go ahead and build an extra hangar. That way we can get another craft. Rotate. We should get extra living quarters. We'll get two living quarters, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we do need a medical center. What is your adjacency bonus? You don't have an adjacency bonus. So I'll put you over here. Here, I don't know where to put you. I guess over here. I don't really need missile batteries for the time being. Training. Let's see, storeroom, 25 storage capacity. Um, I do need training capacity. So I need a training center somewhere. I think I'll put it down here. Training center. That's fine, I think. Medical center, I'll put you over here. Oh, insufficient power. So I need another generator too. We'll do that. and then a medical center. Of equal or greater effectiveness, so constructing this building will provide no benefit. Oh, okay. Where is it? Oh, I put it up here. What was I putting down? Training center? I already had a training center. There's workshop, I can do another workshop. That works, I think. Here, let's actually move that and move this. Yes. We'll put our workshop here. Generator here. Medical center here. That way we can get the adjacency bonus for our workshops and adjacency bonus for our generators. Um... We have plenty of storage capacity, so we're good on that for now. And we just spent a whole buttload of money. So, I think we're good. Air weapons. Ablative plating. Produces one ablative plating for our interceptors. That sounds good. An autocannon. 
also sounds good. Aircraft. I don't really have the money for that yet, I, and I need the hangar to be built first. Soldiers, I'm not going to be able to do this until I get uh, the... I can't hire more people until I get the living spaces built. That's what I was trying to say. So, I'll have to see about rearranging our guys whenever we get more... More words. More combat coming. Yeah. Alright, so let's just go to the Geoscape for now. Progress some time. Situation analysis. Uh, yeah. Situation analysis. Commander, it seems like the covert stage of the invasion is coming to an abrupt end, so I'm officially handing control over of our organization over to you. Right now, we need someone with military experience in charge. As the cleaners have clearly taken an interest in us, I'm going to start digging into them. We still don't know who they are. They just appear like clockwork after alien activity erase any evidence and erase any evidence, including uh, any unfortunate eyewitnesses. I'll let you know if I discover anything interesting. Of course. Of course, our primary goal is to learn uh, enough about the extraterrestrials to figure out how to, de how to defeat the invasion. Now we finally develop the technology to reliably track alien activity, your soldiers and pilots can start conducting missions against them. I'm sure our chief scientist will be delighted to look at any extraterrestrial corpses or alien equipment you bring back to the base. If we're lucky, he might even be able to reverse engineer some of it so, uh, for our own use. Inc incidentally, please resist the uh, words. Incidentally, please resist the temptation to strangle the man uh, with his own lab coat. We need him We need him for the war effort. He's quite literally a genius, and we couldn't replace him if we tried. Trust me on this. Your final task is to increase our funding and expand our organization so we can protect the entire planet, as regions are bound to fall under alien control if we leave them undefended for too long. But I'll let you work out the details there. Best to get started, eh? There's coffee on the pot. Or in the pot. All right, let's assign a new research project. Let's go ahead and do the uh, autopsy because it's only two days. And yeah, let's move forward. All right, we've got new people, good. Autopsy, cleaner agent. While it was previously unclear what role the smartly dressed agents uh, observed supporting cleaner operations played within the organization, the autopsy process has revealed a great deal. There's little question that these cleaner agents are entirely human. Several of the bodies were easy to identify personal effects and medical records, and all have been confirmed as employees of government intelligence agencies. The operations division was able to obtain their personnel files, and I see nothing to indicate that these individuals have been acting strangely or held unusual beliefs. It appears that they are simply employees of intelligence ag agencies subverted by the cleaners. Sadly, this is probably... Ah, sadly, this probably reflects the dubious legality of our organization. Governments are either deliberately suppressing knowledge of alien activity or have been infiltrated by hostile forces with the intent of doing so, leaving us no choice but to operate beyond the law. Until this changes, we will likely continue to clash with those who are unwitted, who unwittingly do the bidding of extraterrestrial invaders. Yet, we cannot change course. The very survival of our species may rest on our success. Thankfully, cleaner agents are not particularly fearsome opponents. Lacking formal military training and equipped with only light weapons, they are notably less capable than one of our own soldiers. Okay, that's good. But just a human that we decided to cut open and do an autopsy on. New research. We'll do alien warfare. We don't really need the combat vehicles yet. New Aerial Warfare Engaging extraterrestrial craft is a remar remarkably difficult process, as even the most sophisticated human aircraft and air defense systems are largely ineffective against the superior technology of our ad adversaries. There are various reasons for this, but the foremost is that alien craft can be fiendishly difficult to detect. My tireless work on quantum radar technology is the only reason our organization is capable of tracking UFOs at all. The rest of the world remains entirely blind to the gathering threat. Yet even if we share our tracking data, most modern fighter jets would simply, uh, would simply remain useless. Without a solid fix on the UFO, they would be unable to lock missiles. Similarly, 
Attempting to employ cannons would simply bring them within range of powerful EMP. Uh, within range of a powerful MP, EMP effect generated by the uh, by the discharge of alien energy weapons. Words. Words are hard. Why are words hard? By contrast, our our X-25 Angel Interceptors are adapted from the venerable MiG-25 Foxbat. This aircraft has electronic systems hardened to withstand EMPs from a nuclear blast, allowing our pilots to freely engage UFOs with short-ranged cannons. Thankfully, my recent research has unlocked uh, further combat options. I've managed to integrate short-range quantum radar technology uh, carried by our interceptors with the guidance systems of two common types of missiles. The lighter missile is highly maneuverable and fitted with a high-explosive warhead designed to shower the target with a deadly shrapnel. The far heavier torpedo is far sl or the heavier torpedo is far slower, but employs a powerful shape charge warhead capable of penetrating and shattering en enemy armor. Both are now available for construction in our engineering workshop. Cool. So we have the Sidewinder missile and the Skylance torpedo. Let's assign a new research. Combat vehicles sounds good to me. Over here. Uh, how are those weapons? Sidewinders. We'll go for the Sidewinder missiles for now, because early on we're going to be fighting a lot of weak UFOs, so I think this will be fine. I will make two of them, though. Corpses. Perform ballistic testing on recovered cleaner corpses, gathering valuable knowledge about the weak points of these units, increasing damage inflicted against them. These are normal people. We shouldn't have to do this. <laughs> but okay, sure, I guess. All right, so continuing on. Alien abduction site. Victory rewards, uh, 10 less panic to North America. Uh, loss effects, 20% panic level increase in North America. Okay. Mission briefing. Rescue at least five civilians from the abduction tubes before the timer expires. Loss conditions. Fewer than five abduction tubes have been deactivated when the timer expires or all Xenonauts are eliminated. Further information. A soldier adjacent to an object... Uh, uh, adjacent to an abduction tube can deactivate it using right click. Each tube is worth two alien alloys. The mission will not end automatically if all hostiles are killed, allowing you to open more abduction tubes. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and launch another combat team. We'll launch that aircraft. We need to bring people in. Okay, so code, you can cycle out. Speedy Moon, you can cycle out. Over here, we have a lot of people that need to cycle in. Skyhawk. We may be bringing somebody who's already injured in, in which case we'll try to keep them in the back. <laughs> we are going to die. Uh, maybe. You don't know. Who has the highest health? Speedy, guess what? You have the highest health of everybody who's injured. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, Kitsunagari, we have you... This one is going to be outside, so two snipers would actually be kind of useful. So we'll keep uh, Fabio Esposito. I need to rename you. Jennifer Kelly. All right, Jana Markova, you are going to become an assault. We're going to move up. Jen Kelly, you are going to turn into a shield unit. No thanks to you. True. But hey, you are the least injured injured person. So congratulations. All right. So sniper, you're fine, I think. You have heavy armor. You have heavy armor. You have heavy armor. From here on out, we have... Rifleman Speedy, I'm going to change you to be a Rifleman as, as well, so I can keep you at a bit further range. Um, I will keep you with Heavy Armor, though. In fact, can I just slap Heavy Armor on all these guys? I can. Let's take the C4 off. Ammo. Um, equipment. Stun Grenade. 
Another stun grenade. Sounds good to me. You, take that off. Heavy armor. Stun grenade. And an ammo? Nah, that's six. I won't do that. Heavy armor. You. More shotgun ammo. I'm going to want a accuracy module. Um, what else? Probably a med kit. Seems useful. Or I can go grenades. I'll go grenades. One of those. One of those. One of those. Nope, too heavy. Shotgun ammo. Good. You, um... I'll take your demolition charge off. Can I give you a second shield? It is too big. Okay. Hmm. I remember there was a strategy in the previous game where you could load up your guys with shields and have them drop them in the ship. That way you'd still get the benefit of them carrying stuff in, but uh, since you drop it, they don't have it for the entire mission. But I don't think I'm going to do that. You're fine, you're fine. You're e, you have more carrying capacity. Uh, let's load you up with more ammo. Cool. Fabio. Another ammo. We'll get you another smoke grenade. Oh, I have these cleaner submachine guns, too. Hmm. Interesting. So, can I... How do I compare it to, like, the pistol? Twenty-eight damage. Yeah, can I... Can I pack this in as a second, as the secondary? Oh, you can't, unfortunately. Okay. I thought I remember in the previous game you could have uh, any gun in either slot, but you can't do that now. No, you can't. Okay, that's interesting. Kind of a pain in the butt too, but interesting nonetheless. We'll give you a. Dun grenade in case I need you need to use you in close combat. Which I doubt I will, but it's better to have it than not. In fact, I'll do the same thing over here. With kit. There we go. Alright, so I have two, three people I need to change the names of. Uh lit four people, even. So I've got Speedy, I've got names are like. Let's go ahead and put Kyle is a Hufflepuff. Kyle is a Hufflepuff. I'll just do Kyle Hufflepuff. There we go. Except you are our shield person. Uh, who else do we have? We have Nabbly Babbly. I don't think we've used yet. Nabbly Babbly. Babbly? I don't think, at least. No, I've not used them yet. Hey, you'll do your best. Good to hear. Good to have you, soldier. Uh, let's see. We have... We've used code. We haven't used Cutlass, I don't think. Nope, we got Cutlass 77 I can put in here. Cutlass 77. I don't think I've used them. Nope, we're good. Um, got peace potatoes. Do I have sound scheme? I do have sound scheme. Speedy moon squid noises I haven't used yet. Squid noises. Yep, there we go. So we'll start there. All right. Kyle's Hufflepuff. Uh, I wish I could 
load you up with more stuff. But unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> It'll be okay. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll give you a couple flashbangs. A flashbang. No, I won't. That's too much. All right, yeah, we'll just uh, launch. What could go wrong? Whoop! There we go. Commence tactical battle. Oh, good couple missions so far. Tactical combat day 11. All right, so, yeah, we need to deactivate the abduction tubes is what we need to do. Commander, I'm picking up extraterrestrial activity in the area. The signals match those detected during other suspected uh, abduction events. Scout the area. If there's any extraterrestrials present, eliminate them. Ener the energy readings are rising fast. We may... Words. We may not have much time until the aliens depart. Best free any captured locals quick as quickly as possible, then. God knows what the aliens will do to them otherwise. All right, so... Hey, there's a guy here. That's not great. All right, I've got my two snipers in the back. Um, Speedy, you are going to... Oh, this is the corner map. I'm not too worried about an alien being there, but I am worried about an alien being here. Okay. Oh, but we are... Also at night. Let's see, I've got 37. Could do that. Could do a grenade. All of these are 37 except for the flare, which we can only use the flare because it's night. All right, I'll just hose this guy down. Hope for the best. Speedy, you are already hurt. Okay, let's uh, let's move you back. Let's see, main shot is going to be 14. All right, Atrey, hope you don't die. Oh, never mind. If there was only the one, I would have went for it, but now there's two, and I'm not going to go for it. Uh, you go here instead. Really? Crouch. You have a shotgun. You have a pistol. I need to run you in. That's what I need to do. That way you can soak up damage. 26, 30. We'll go for the 30. Okay, that's fine. We'll run Nabbly Babbly up behind H-Ray, or up behind uh, Hufflepuff. Let's see. Can't quite get two shots in, so I'll take the highest chance. One hit, you crouch. Peace Potatoes, Sound Scheme, I'll run Peace Potatoes in. See, can I hose you down? I can. All right, that's one down. Um, we've got our snipers. We'll move the sniper over here. We'll put Kit over here to hopefully take care of this guy. Cool. And that's gonna free Cutlass up to heal him. 
No longer bleeding. All right, there's still the one guy over there. Take a pot shot. Damage his cover. You can crouch. Squid noises. Take the higher chance shot. No more cover for him. He can also crouch. You go here. Uh, I'd rather have the chance of suppressing using the burst. Yeah, he's suppressed now, so he's not gonna he's gonna have reduced time units next turn. Guy has 25. I'll use the 21% chance. There we go. Didn't really do much. That's fine. Speedy, you stay there. Everyone else, I think we're good. In turn. Oh, we got guys behind us. All right, you, turn that way. I don't see anything. That's not great. All right, Kit, you run over here. Deactivate that. And then run over here. Probably not going to be able to get a shot with a sniper, but I can take a pot shot with the pistol. Not great. Okay. You move up. You also take a pot shot with the pistol. Cool. So we are partially secure now. At least our landing site is secure. So we can start doing a bit of exploration. Speedy. Move you over here. Let me look that way and crouch. Uh, Kit, there's a ladder here. You can go up a level. In fact, I think I'm going to move Sound Scheme over there as well. Can I turn you around? I can. We'll get both our snipers up on higher ground. H-Ray doesn't see anything from here, but I'll move him over to this other window. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. So I've got six turns remaining. I do need to rush and get all these tubes. Which there's one there. I did I didn't like that. That was a that was a sound. All right, uh, peace potatoes. You can run over here. Why you gotta do that music? It sounds... Earlier it sounded like there was something firing at us from over here. I'm gonna step back for a minute. I'll just use Overwatch Fire there. Nabbly babbly. You can run in over here. Won't be able to Overwatch, probably, but you can at least get us line of sight, ideally. So I'll crouch you. Cutlass, uh, you go over here. In fact, I'll put you over here. That way you can peek around this corner. And then Squid Noises. I thought Sound Scheme was our other sniper. It, it was actually Squid Noises. Squid Noises, I'll actually put over here. That way they can get a nice overwatch of this area. And that's about all I can do this turn. So, continuing on. Turn that off. Oh, hey, buddy. Ow. He just walked up and shot me. Why Why has he got to be like that? Got the civvies running around. All right, HRA is wounded. That's fine. He's okay. Um, We'll run Peace Potatoes over here. Heal him. Oh, an insufficient time units. 
That's fine. That's fine. What could go wrong? Actually, he's got that. He can heal himself. Close. Cool. Uh, he can't, however, take a shot this turn. So, Nabbly Babbly, you are going to be peeking over here and taking that shot. I can get two. Cool. Love to see that. Hopefully there's nothing else over here. No, we're good, I think. Uh, Cutlass, you peek. I need to get that tube, so we'll run up. Hopefully not get shot. peek this way. Nothing over there. Alright, I'll put you against this wall again, facing that direction. Speedy, you go in here. Oh, there's an alien. Move you over one. Crouch. Suppress him if you can. You couldn't. That's fine. Sound scheme, you run in here. Actually, you run here. We'll do a flashbang. That should be good enough. Alright, he's suppressed. He won't take any uh, actions this turn. Kit can move up here. Hopefully give us a bit of overwatch. Crouch them. Hufflepuff, you move over here. And here. Anything, anything, not really. That's fine. I'll just crouch you here. Squid noises. I don't think I have another ladder I can throw you up. Peace potatoes, you can move against this wall. Face that way. All right, so we got a tube there, tube there and a tube over here. So I've got almost half of them as soon as I can get in range. Five turns remaining. That should be plenty of time, I think. Squid noises, do I want to move you? Kinda, kinda not. If I get him up top over here, that'd be nice, but I don't think I can. So I'll keep you where you are and I'll keep you overwatchable. Somebody just got shot at. He's getting shot at. We've got civvies running around, probably. You. Hose him down. There we go. That guy's dead. Anyone else in here? No. Good. You. Go here. Turn that way. Nothing there. Nothing over here. Alright, Cutlass, you're going to move up to a spot I think is safe. We'll definitely find out. You'll open that tube next turn. I'll just crouch you for now. Face you that way, in case something comes around the corner. Uh, you won't be able to reaction shot it, unfortunately, but that's okay. Next soldier. Next soldier. Next soldier. Kit, you can come over here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Run over here. That's fine. Hufflepuff, you can come over here. Alright, you don't see anything. I'll move you back. Crouch again. Peace potatoes, you can run over here, I think. Yeah, that looks safe-ish. Move you over here. Safe-ish again. 
crouch. Next soldier. Next soldier. Next soldier. Squid noises. You need to move up. I'll run you over here that we can get up in this area. Hopefully there's nothing already waiting up there for you. H-Ray. Run you up. I don't see anything. So that's going to take 15 time units. Um, I'll leave you standing here. Actually, I'll back you up by one. And you can go and get that tube next turn. Nably, you can run in here. Oh, there's a tube. Check my corners. We'll do that for now. You turn that way. Yeah, we'll do that. In case there's something in this little pocket of darkness. That's all our movement for this turn. No real time for Overwatch. Okay, we got an alien there. Hit the fence. Oh, we had a guy over here next to the Skyhawk. Okay. I'll have this guy run and grab that. I didn't even notice that. Speedy, you go get this guy, since you have to stay back anyway. Where do you see an alien? Oh, you see that guy. Okay. Er, no you don't. It just pops up because somebody else sees him. Alright, there we go. So he can get that. Cutlass can get this guy. That's fine. Sound scheme, you can run over here. You see nothing in the corner. That's good. Run you over here too. You don't see anything through there. He's got a direct shot. I want to get squid noises up here. Can he make a shot over there with Pistol, maybe? He's got 28. Okay, he can't actually make a shot, so that's fine. Uh, in that case, I'll move him here. Can you make a shot now? Not really, he's blocked. Okay. That's fine, I'll crouch him. Nabbly babbly, you go around this corner. Okay, there's nobody there. That's fine. Open that. Run back to safety. Face this way. H-Ray, you run over here. No, that's not safe, actually. You run over here. I don't see anything. There's another pod over there. All right, I'll move him into high cover over here. Kit. You move over here. In fact, you move here. Can you make a shot with this? Not quite. Oh, because you have to turn. Okay. Well, I'll get you facing that direction. And crouched. All right, so we'll get this one next turn. We'll get this one next turn. Who's this? Peace Potatoes. Oh, you can take a shot. Put him back in cover. You... Yeah, I'd rather take the shot. Have potential of suppression. Just keep hitting the wall. Alright, oh well. So you can't actually shoot. Can you shoot with your pistol, maybe? No, way too far out of vector range. Alright, that's fine. In turn! So that guy's gonna move. Take a pot shot. Miss horribly. 
All right, so he's in this darkness over here. Oh yeah, we're gonna get this guy next turn too. Just have civilians running around. All right, get that one open. So we've completed our objective. Anything here is gravy, or anything else is gonna be gravy on top. Yeah, I see, enemy spotted. Fourteen, take a pot shot, miss, crouch. Uh, squid noises, you move here, switch to your sniper. Take a well-aimed shot, he's down, good to hear. H-Ray, you come over here, protect this guy, or free that guy, rather. Not necessarily protect him. Oh, there's an enemy. Okay. Good to see. Crouch you. Uh, Kit, you think you can make that shot? Ooh, only a 32% chance. Through a friendly. Hmm, so if the friendly wasn't there, it'd be a different story, maybe. Uh, he'd have to uncrouch. Okay, so I can't actually move him this turn. I can try taking a pot shot with Kit, but I don't want to shoot him in the back. Um, we'll chance it. What could possibly go wrong? We actually hit. Hell yeah, I saw that blood splatter. Shield, you move up. As far as you can. To here. Crouch. Cutlass, you can move up. Crouch you here. Peace potatoes, you can come over here. Get on this roof. Just crouch him. You run over here. Crouch you here too. Maybe ha have you face that way. Uh, maybe have you face this way. I'll just keep you faced in the middle, I guess. This will let us see if anything's come on either side, I guess. Only a glimpse, though. In turn. Ooh! A tray has been hit. <laughs> take five damage at the end of the turn. All right, you need to get around the corner and heal yourself. Hufflepuff, you get over here behind this cover. Crouch. Take a pot shot. Why not? All right, you missed. All right, Kit. This is hopefully going to be an easier shot. You got better line of sight. 55% chance. I have no idea if that hit because the camera bugged out there. Peace Potatoes, you get over here. Hose him down. Nothing but misses. Nothing but whips. Cannot get all the way over here. I've got most of the guys, but I think the last few are going to be just out of reach. Yeah, I thought there might have been one of these over here. You run up if you can, as far as possible.
that's through a wall. You you don't see anything. Okay, so Oh, I can actually get him all the way over here. Yeah, sure, why not? And then Speedy, you're all the way back here. I'll try running you up. Too limited success, probably. Mission complete. Okay, so we got 7 out of 10. We completed our objective, which was only 5. We got decent number of kills. Got some, I think they're called sectoids in this game. No, they're not called sectoids in this game. They're, I forget what they're called. Either way, I'm going to be right back. I have to take a tinkle. So one second. Oh. I'll only be a moment. All right, and I'm back. Let's see. Pop back over here. All right, so we got six out of seven aliens killed. We lost nobody. Had a couple people get wounded, mostly H-Ray, and Speedy Moon took another hit. Um, so he's going to be out of commission for a while this time. Uh, we've got some alien magnetic weapons. We've got some Sekton corpses. Okay, so they're called Sektons. I think the name changed between this game and the previous game. But otherwise, it seems like everybody else is doing pretty good right now. All right, except... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and return. Alien Magnetic Weapons, Warden Combat Armor, and Xenobiology. Let's go ahead and assign a... Uh, what you call it? Oh, we, we need combat vehicles first. So, we'll keep... We'll keep doing that. Resource, alien alloys. My, pre My preliminary analysis of the recovered alien equipment suggests that widespread use of a previously unknown metallic substance. This super heavy element is clearly artificial in origin, being far too massive to occur naturally. It is fundamentally unstable in its natural form and thus only ever encountered as an alloy. The properties of these alloys vary dramatically based on the constituent metals, but appear to range from truly remarkable levels of strength to more exotic behaviors such as superconductivity. This likely occurs because the, because the nucleus of each atom is so large that the orbiting electrons are approaching light speed. Hence, the elements are, element is not governed by the established rules of classical physics, but the bizarre possibilities of quantum mechanics. One suspects that we may find many uses for these alien alloys, as my research continues. However, given we lack the technology to synthesize them ourselves, we'll need to scavenge whatever possible from, from our foes. Cool. Sounds good to me. So we've got a generator and a hangar. That's good to hear. So we now have a new hangar slot. We can go ahead and build a new interceptor. That's probably a wise decision. Now we are running a bit low on money at only 300,000, but it's all an investment. All right, we've completed work on our Sidewinder missiles. We'll close that. Let's actually see if we can put those on. Fuel plot extends the range of this aircraft carrying it, of the aircraft carrying it by 15%. Um, I'll switch that out with the Sidewinder missile, I think. 
So we've got both cannon and a missile. There's the Mars combat platform. That is fun. Upkeep is $5,000. The Mars Mechanical Armed Reconna Reconnaissance System is a remote-controlled armored vehicle small enough to be carried alongside in a dropship. Faster, tougher, and better armed than any soldier, it would be a worthy addition to our tactical teams. This vehicle is designed primarily for scouting work. Compact and highly mobile, it can advance in front of your soldiers to sight enemies and draw, over, uh, draw out overwatch fire. Given its strong armor and relatively rugged construction, it is significantly more resilient to alien weapons than the average human. When it does encounter enemies, the Mars usually has two methods of dealing with them. Uh, the more mundane option is the auto rifle, little more than a standard infantry rifle with a high capacity magazine and better recoil stabilization. The other option is a rocket pod mounted atop the vehicle. Although the Mars can only carry six rockets into battle, each is tipped with a powerful incendiary warhead that can demolish almost all, any terrain with its sizable blast radius. Although it only deals mediocre damage against enemy units, it is very effective at breaking their armor. Additionally, additional weapon variants are also available if you wish to experiment further. Finally, note that the Mars is heavy enough to be able to smash through most walls and cover objects as if they're not there. This is obvious tactical utility in itself, but the Canny Commander can also use this ability to create uh, paths for nearby soldiers to use. Then there's also the Sentry Gun. Although I'll refrain from commenting on the rather pathetic attempts to defund our previously... Uh, to defend our previous facility from the cleaners, I nonetheless thought it prudent to bolster our defensive options. One hopes that such efforts may help avoid a repeat of prior failures. Thus, I present the Sentry Gun, an affordable and robust vehicle intended specifically for protecting our bases. Being far simpler design than the Mars, it is significantly faster and cheaper to manufacture, whilst uh, still retaining most of the combat performance. Much of the simplification arises from the use of wheels for propulsion rather than tracks. This reduces the overall cost and complexity while also providing the weapon with an elevated firing position that improves accuracy. The downside of this design, uh, the downside of the design of the sentry gun is that it's prone to toppling over when adapted to, uh, when attempting to, to, when attempting to traverse uneven terrain. It is therefore unsuitable for general combat use and it should only be deployed on flat concrete floors of our facilities. This makes sentry guns a specialized tool. Though perhaps unnecessary in many situations, these inexpensive, ah, these inexpensive vehicles are nonetheless a highly effective way to bolster the defensive garrison of a base, particularly when living space is tight. Sounds good to me. Sign a research project. Um, I think we're going to want the... Hmm... Do we want magnetic weapons or do we want combat armor? I'm thinking probably combat armor, at least for right now. That way we can, you know, survive more and get less hurt. So we'll do that. Soldier extraction. The cleaners are attempting to hunt down three of our experienced soldiers that survived the fall of Atlas base. If we move quickly, we may be able to rescue them. We get three soldiers, each that are sergeant level. Okay. Launch combat team. Launch aircraft. Let's see. We need to move two people in. Code is healthy. We'll move him on to the Skyhawk. Who is the least hurt? Looks like names are like at 78% HP. So we'll move him in. We're going to want to put the heavy armor on him, too. A little less ammo, I think. Now that we're not going to be enclosed in spaces, I think the more grenades is probably a better deal. We can probably be a, lit, a bit less restrictive with them. I'll take these off. Put that on. There we go. That's good. Got you armored up. You carrying max capacity. You are just over max capacity. That is good. Let's equip you with a what? 
Knife? No. Armor? A eh, bit too heavy. What if I take that off? What if I take off a smoke grenade? Okay, what about a pistol magazine? That is perfect. So you're heavy. You're good. Let's give you extra ammo. So sound scheme... is pretty loaded up. Equipment. What can I give you? I can give you a C4. <laughs> oh! C4 charges an explosive device that can be placed in any adjacent tile by the soldier carrying it. Once placed, it can be remotely detonated at any point at the cost of 10 time units. That is different from the original game where they had a timer on them. So you can... I guess we get a clacker that lets the... lets our soldier blow them up manually. That seems really useful, but not what I need at this moment, I don't think. Hmm... I'll just keep blowing you up with grenades, I guess. We're not really going through our ammo all that much. That's not super needed. But again, I'm just trying to train their strength right now. So we've got two shields. Both are kind of eh in terms of their stats. That's okay. Let's see. You get one of those. Oh, that is way heavy. How heavy is that? Oh, it's weighs 12. That's a bit much right now, I think. We'll give you a stun grenade, though. Um, I think a assault is going to be less useful this time. So I'll carry only one. I think the two shields is probably fine in this case. More ammo? That's fine. More ammo? Seems good to me. Alright, all our people are good, I think. Kit, I'll take that off you. I'll take the knife off. Now you have heavy armor, so... Most of our guys have heavy armor at this point for increased survivability, which is great. All right, we can launch dropship. There are three recoverable soldiers at the destination, but you do not have enough space in the dropship to extract them all. Any soldiers not extracted will be lost. Oh, okay, hold that thought. So I need three empty spots, so let's actually move names are like off, unassigned. We'll move Nambly Bambly off. And we'll move one of our two snipers off. I think we'll move squid noises off. So now we have three open spots. We've got two shields, three riflemen, and a sniper. Because I, I have no idea what the state of these new soldiers is going to be. So let's just launch dropship. And, oh, you're off in... Looks like some islands off the coast of Indonesia. I don't know what those islands are called. All right, we go. New living quarters, that is perfect timing. Let's go, I'm not dying. <laughs> True. Uh, UFO one detected. Uh, slow time and center on UFO. All right, we can launch interceptors after that guy. Cause it's just a scout. That'll give us a little bit of funding. Um, yeah, we'll just auto-resolve. Accept result. Commence tactical battle. Alright, let's go. Tch, 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 tch. 
Enjoying the music so far. Very moody, which is exactly what you want. Eliminate all hostile units, uh, or all Xenonauts are eliminated. Further information, you must leave enough empty slots in your dropship to recover three rescued soldiers, or else they will be left behind. When Atlas fell, we lost touch with the soldiers we had out on operations. I managed to re-establish contact with them, but they're isolated and the cleaners are closing in. Either clear the area of hostiles, or get them back on the dropship and take off. Okay, so we have... Ah, they're over here. There's a cleaner there. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's run you up, I think. Face you that way. Okay, nothing there. As far as I can tell, at least. Are we... Ooh. Alright, Peace, you're gonna look over here. Got all kinds of containers over here. I'm just trying to make sure we're not going to get flanked immediately. So, Cutlass, I'm going to run you up here, kind of in the blind. Oh, there's somebody over here. There's a cleaner there. Okay, let's back that up. Peace, you're also going to go over here, I think. Uh, you can crouch. In fact, you're gonna move back further, Cutlass. Move you back one. But that means Code is kinda in the dark over here, so I'm gonna move Hufflepuff up over next to him. Actually, that's not the best idea. We'll move Sound Scheme over here instead. Crouch. Uh, those cost 31 each, so I don't have the ability to do that. I'm gonna run Kit up and get on top of this container over here. Oh, never mind. Let's see. I'll keep Kit standing there, actually, because they've got cover. There's plenty of stuff in between here and there that will hopefully prevent that guy from just outright killing Kit. Plus armor and whatnot, so probably okay. What could go wrong? All right, I don't think there's anything over there. All right, and then we've got our new guys. So each of them are only riflemen. run up here. Pose him down. Miss. Okay. You guys should look around your environment and tell me if there's anything near you. Like that guy. Oh shit, there's, there's a guy over here that thought. You, go here. Right, you crouch. You shoot him. Miss horribly. Okay. Hmm. Not a great start. We'll see how this goes. Well, shit! Oh! That's not a great position for us. Why are they shooting at the city? Alright, whatever. I hear things going on. I can't see them. Poor Civvy. Yeah, run away, Civvy. Don't die. You 
You too, Sippy. Don't die. All right, so you deal with this guy. Cool. So now we're not immediately flanked. Oh, both of these guys are dead. Okay. That's not great. All right, I need to just evade, I think. I need to get this guy down. I'm just going to put this guy in cover. All right, Kit, you go up here. Crouch. Can you take a pot shot with your pistol? No, you can't. Okay. Can't throw a smoke grenade either. Can you... Hold on. Can you take a pot shot? This guy. I'll take the higher chance. Nothing. Okay. You do that. Blow his cover. Fifteen, twenty-two. Can I get two shots? I cannot get two shots. I'll just take the higher chance one, though. Okay, he's dead. Good. Um, this guy is still over here, though. And if he lives, then we have a problem. Hmm. Because if he takes this guy out, then this was kind of for nothing. over here. Alright. Keep you standing. That's fine, probably. Don't die, guy. They're trying to shoot. Oh, fuck. Shield is doing work. Oh, no. Well, there go our three soldiers for the reward. <laughs> All right, we are at a severe disadvantage here. Let's, uh... Hmm. Because we're down... Even though they were new, we're down three guys now. All right, you... Crouch. I'm just going to shoot as many times as I can at this guy. All right, that's three shots. Enemy spotted. Good. Shield is truly doing work. Yes, it is. Um, it is... It only has 18 durability left. Oh, whoops. I meant to select kit there. There we go. You take a shot. Nice. And then switch to the pistol. Can't get a shot there. Oh, I guess that was a needlessly risky shot then, because she can't really do anything else. There's only this guy that she can shoot at. Um, Huffle, you're going to kind of have to stay there. Cutlass, you go through here. Make sure we're not getting flanked. All right, nothing there. Go over here. You can crouch. Sound scheme, you rotate, I think. Can I put you over here? Is there anything in this corner over here? You have a shot? No, not this round you don't, but next round you might. 
So I'll just crouch you for now. Peace potatoes, you can rotate over this way. Crouch. Oh, whoops. Crouch, there we go. And then code, you're over here. Nothing there. All right, let's put you over here, I think. Who do you see? Oh, you see that guy, okay. That's fine, you don't have a shot on him anyway. So I'm just gonna crouch you and have you face him. We're going to in turn, I think. Had to leave. How have you been doing? Uh, you got grievously wounded, but you're still alive. Uh, I didn't take you on this mission because we were trying to recover three new guys. But as soon as we got in the mission, those guys were surrounded by enemies, so they're all dead, and we're at a disadvantage in this fight. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so, hit. You got a shot there. Take it. Nice. Good job, Kit. Kit is racking up kills. Alright. Doesn't have a shot here. Hufflepuff is doing well, too. Um, his shield is doing work this round. Alright, you take a shot. Nice. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to move you back. That way you don't get hit by this guy. You, uh, peace. You can take a shot over here. I'll go for... Let's see. I'll take the 40%. Or the 58. Or the 3 times 18. Hmm. Can I just throw a nade? Not that far. Okay. So, an option would be smoke. I could cover over here. But that would also prevent me from doing anything against them. Uh, I'm not opposed to that entirely. How hard is this game? I've recently saw it on my Steam Recommended and in considering buying. Uh, so far I'm playing on Veteran and I can't complain. Um, though I did play a lot of Xenonauts 1. So it's... I have a bit of experience with uh, how the game is supposed to feel. There are a few changes uh, from the original, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, and when you start a campaign, there's like five different base difficulties, and even once you pick one, you can like uh, tweak how much your starting min uh, starting money is. You can tweak how hard the enemies hit. You can tweak uh, how accurate they are. You get a whole list of things that you can tweak. So, so far, I'm having a lot of fun with it and would recommend it. Let's see. So, I'm going to pop this down. Uh, the only people I've had die so far are these friendly units over here, which I the entire reason I went on this mission was to try and recover them. Uh, and that didn't happen because they were surrounded by enemies at the very start. So, that's probably just a RNG thing. Bad luck on my part. Let's see. Sound scheme... Take a look over here. Nothing. All right, I'm going to move you up to here. And crouch. Code you can move up to, say, here. All right, you actually have line of sight on that guy, so I'm just going to crouch you there. You're going to be the most enticing target here, so hopefully he hops over and uh, Sound Scheme can take a shot on him next turn. 
We've got Cutlass over here. I'm kind of keeping him on lookout duty on this side of the map because I have no idea what's over here. That's a lot of darkness. That is big ol' unknown at the moment. He's not in a very good spot to be a lookout, unfortunately. Oh, I know something I can do. I can move him back a bit and get him up on top of this container. All right, I'll do that next round. You... I'll leave you there. You might get an overwatch next round. Oh! Shield doing work. Good to hear. And we also have Kit here who might be able to get a shot on that guy too. Nothing. That hits that. Anything over here? Oh, there's a guy there. Uh, We'll take the 100% chance. Cool. Kit really is making... Is having the bodies hit the floor right now is what she's doing. I'm glad I'm alive considering you walked me straight up to a guy that shot me in the first mission. Uh, true. The But the reason I did that is because he only had a pistol and you had full armor. So I wasn't that worried. This guy, I'll drop a flashbang on. I didn't bring an assault this round, did I? No, I didn't. All right, I'm going to move. Cannot find a target path. What? Oh, I wonder if it's because he's holding a shield that he can't go up there. That's interesting. All right, I'll keep him here then. Can you take a shot? Alright. I'll leave him be... Can I lob a grenade that far? No. I can lob a demo charge at this, though. That'll make it easier to shoot him next turn. Good. Alright, and... Cut. You can come over here to where this guy was. That way you're higher up and hopefully see further. Uh, not that great, actually. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather keep you posted up there anyway. All right, Code, you run up in front of whoever this is. That's Sound Scheme. That way you can protect him if this guy tries to get closer. Um, you can get two shots in this way, so we'll do that. Nice, good job. And Hufflepuff, you're good to go. I'm going to move you over here. Yeah, I'll move you there. You won't... Oh! I didn't know smoke counted towards stun. That's good to hear. Okay. So one of your units has just suffered stun damage, usually from smoke inhalation. This is shown by yellow numbers appearing above their head. The total stun damage is represented by a small yellow bar along the bottom of their HP bar. If the accumulated stun damage exceeds their current hit points, that unit will fall unconscious. Oh, okay. So in that first mission, when we hit the guy with the stun baton, we did 10 stun damage to him. So when we shot him the following turn, we got his uh, HP below 10, which rendered him unconscious, but not dead. Okay. So that's a that's a good way of knowing how that works, is it's a bar that builds up, and the more we can rack on somebody, the less we have to drain their HP. All right, so let's go ahead and turn. So that is a, that's different from how it used to work in the previous game. Which I'm not against. Alright, so we now have no idea where the rest of these guys are, unfortunately. So, Kyle, you run in here. 
Oh, you see a guy. Oh, you see him over there. Okay. Interesting. Kit, can you move over here and maybe get a shot on that guy? Uh, not this turn, but you got line of sight, which is good. Okay. Kyle, I'll move you over here. Move code up. That way he has line of sight for next turn. Sound scheme. I'll move you up over here. Uh, a little further. Why not? That's fine. Cutlass, you're just going to sit over here, honestly. Because, um, again, I have no idea if there's anything over here. So I want to know if something is going to try and peek me. So really, you're just going to keep facing that way. Peace Potatoes, you can move up. I'll move you up around over here. All right, you've moved. Okay, so yeah, let's in turn. All right, he took a shot, hit cover. So we know where he is. Friendly activity, that's probably a civvy over there. Um, you. You don't have any demo charges. You don't have any demo charges. You do have a demo charge. Do demo charges destroy these? We're gonna find out. Oh, there's that guy. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't see him before, but okay. Uh, Kit, you got line of sight? No, not quite. But I can keep you sat there for Overwatch when he moves, or if he moves. Code, you keep running up, I think. Because you have the best shield at the moment. We'll crouch you. Take the best shot. All right, we hit him. Good to hear. Peace, potatoes. You run up over here. Now, what is going to be terrifying is when we start doing terror missions, uh, because there is an enemy that appears in those, which is awful, honestly. Uh, they're called Reapers. They like to run up, hit you, and turn your dudes into zombies that are very fast, actually. All right, so we've got Hufflepuff. Move Hufflepuff over here. All right. In turn, Cutlass has not acted. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. We don't want him to act. Kit, we don't want to act either. All right, so he's suppressed. Ooh, and the wall just opened up behind him. Hopefully he's not about to get shot from behind. Though I don't think it. We've not heard anything moving around in here. Take a peek. Nah, there's no enemies from the looks of it. Uh, you! Can you lob a stun nade over there? No, you can't. But you can get over here, and you don't have enough time units. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. Okay, so he died and the mission didn't end, which means there's still dudes around. So I think I'm going to start sweeping around this way. Um, Kit will reposition... I don't know where, where, ah, where, it's, where we will reposition her to. I guess over here. That way she has overwatch of this area. Peace Potatoes will run you up over here. There is this back alley I do need to clear. So we'll move Sound Scheme up. Uncrouch you for next turn. You can move up a bit. We'll move three guys around back here. 
Sounds keen, you run up. Uh, you... Stay there, I guess. Because we need to know if guys are coming from over here. Turn you, that way the message doesn't pop up. Friendly activity. All right. Nothing over here. I'll just move you forward a bit. You also move over here. Sound scheme, you also move over here. You move into the cover. We'll have him have these guys go through this uh, door over here. Peace potatoes, you can just keep moving forward. And now that we have the main fight done, we just kind of need to methodically sweep and clear the area. All right, you hunker down there. You are good there. Turn you, turn you. Kit, kind of want to put you on top of this container over here. I think I'll do that. Oh, right, you can just jump down. Okay, so I'll move you over here, and you can get up there next turn. Which I, I'll pop her up, peek around, and then bring her back down if we see something. Alright, uh, you stay there in turn. Ah, there's a guy. Over by the trucks. Alright, so Kit, you go ahead and pop up here. So, you see that guy? Do you see anybody else? No, you don't. Okay. Alright, well bring you back down for now. Switch you to your pistol. You can take a shot at that guy. Or try to at least. Nope, you hit a wall. Another one? Ooh, good hit. Alright, these guys. Shield guys just keep moving forward. You go there. You go there. You go there. I'm glad at this stage of the game the enemies don't have grenades yet. Because that could be a bad situation to be in. Okay, so you... I'm going to just move you over here. That way you can try and help kill this guy, maybe. I'll face you in that direction. Hopefully you can get an overwatch shot on him. In turn. Alright, he's moving forward. Just a friendly. Good old Sibby. Alright, so, Kit. You hop up. Sniper. There's a truck in your way. Okay. Can you throw... You can throw a stun grenade over at him. All right, he's suppressed. You crouch. You, do you have a shot on him? No, it's beyond effective range. But you do have line of sight. All right, so that's more cover destroyed. He'll only have half movement next turn because he's suppressed. All right, so there's nothing at all in here. So, sound scheme, you move over here. You got a shot on that guy? 20%. All right, you just get crouched. Hufflepuff, you stay back because you have kind of a weak shield at this point. Um... 
code, you move up behind sound scheme. Hufflepuff, you move in. I don't expect anybody to be in here. No, there's nobody in here. That's good. Who else do I have? I've got Cutlass. All right, I'm going to start moving Cutlass over here, I think. I think I'm going to get him ready to start sweeping this area. Ah! Not great. Okay. Ooh, got hit, but no damage. That's good. Armor absorbed that one. Gotta go for a bit. Fingers crossed I survive for a bit. Yet, yeah, I think you're gonna be okay at this rate. Um, Kit is hit. May as well take the 100% shot. Pistol shot. Miss. Alright, you... Not what I wanted. Okay, that's fine. Whoops. Cutlass. Get over here. Kit is in danger. Peace potatoes. Mm, should be able to hose this guy down, actually. I'll take the higher chance shots, I think. Okay, he's dead. So that's less danger we're in. He can move next turn. Sound scheme, you need to move up some. Now we can get a shot on this guy. Oh, that's beyond effective range. Okay. Crouch. Code. Oh, your shield is actually really weak too. I didn't realize that. When did that happen? Okay. That's fine, though. It's still going to be a bonus. You'll still take less damage, which is good. Hufflepuff, you run up as far as you can. We'll say to here. Still out of effective range. Okay. Uh, in turn, Kit is not in a great spot. Yep. No! Kit is down. She was racking up kills, too. Alright, that is not great. Uh, but because there was no other movement, I think this might be our last guy. I need 21, so you can get to here. Can you reach? Out of range. Okay, nope. Crouch. Throw that over there. That'll make it harder for him to shoot these guys. You crouch. You got a shot on him? Not directly. Alright, you might be able to get an overwatch shot on him then. Peace potatoes, you need to move up. Can I get a grenade over here? No, not enough uh, points. All right, I'll get him at least to that. Code, you can move up a smidge. We'll say to here. 
and crouch in turn. Say there. As a ballpark guess. That sounded squishy. Oh. Please tell me I didn't just kill a civilian with that grenade. That would be bad. If that were the case. Oh no. I don't see a, a splatter anywhere. I think we're good. Alright, you crouch. Peace potatoes. You move over here if you can. And crouch. Then ideally you can throw something over that crate. Sound scheme. That's a far shot. You're probably not going to be able to make it. I can move you up though. Say to... Here, that's fine. Hufflepuff is also good to move up, I think. Face that way, crouch. Uh, Cutlass. You move to this ladder. In turn. Mmm. He's a fart smeller. Also known as a smart fella. Hey, buddy. You're trying to get in the corner. I don't like that. Uh, can I just lob that over there? No, I'm gonna have to get him up. Cannot path. Why can you not path? If I back you up. Now can you path? Hmm. There's a ladder right there. I don't know why that's not working. Alright, I'll move him over here. And hopefully not encounter any more units. walk down this hallway, and there's like four of them. That'd be hilarious. Alright. Uh, you... Move up. That's fine. You... Move up a bit. Crouch. That's fine. You... Um... Move over here. Can we get that? Yes, we can. All right, he's suppressed. He can't do anything. Next turn, he'll have half movement. Or half time units, rather. So he might be able to get a shot off somewhere. But I think we're going to be a lot safer. All right. In turn. Ooh, he tried. Hose him down. He's down. Okay. So, we lost Kit trying to save three other guys who we also lost. Which is unfortunate. Rip in peace, Kit. You died in the line of duty. And those guys that uh, died were also supposed to be our reward for winning this. Unfortunate. But, 
right before this level, we did get a bunch of uh, living capacity built. So I can go ahead and hire more guys. Uh, oh! These are the new guys. They survived! They're very wounded, but they survived. Oh! Interesting. But still, rip kit. Eight ballistic rifles, eight cleaner submachine guns, ten cleaner corpses. That is fine. Alright, let's make our way back. And I think, well, I'll go take out this uh, scout launch aircraft. Probe wreckage, that's fine. UFO probe. Commander, this is quite the occasion. It's not every day that one is presented with the opportunity to study a captured extraterrestrial vessel. An intact version of the probe would no doubt be a veritable treasure trove to, uh, of scientific discovery, but alas, we have only the mangled remains of one that has struck the ground at several hundred kilometers per hour. The wreckage is nonetheless fascinating. The vessel is primarily constructed from mundane titanium, but we also have extracted small quantity of more exotic uh, materials from within the hull presumably representing the remnants of destroyed electronics. Intriguingly, the quantum signals given off by the probe are curiously small compared to those previously recorded, suggesting this is a more compact or at least lighter than other UFOs. It may well be unmanned. No indication can be found within the wreckage of a crew nor any life support systems. The primary armament... Excuse me. The primary armament seems to be a laser cannon. Damaging patterns on our... Damage patterns on our interceptors suggest the weapon is capable of blasting a hole right through our aircraft, yet the relative rugged construction of the Angel can withstand uh, numerous of such hits. Indeed, one suspects this craft was simply not built for combat. Recordings suggest it is slow, poorly armored, and lacks maneuverability. Now we possess a reliable method of detecting them, these alien probes should be easy targets for our interceptors. Sounds good to me. All right, so we can go take this guy down too. That's another probe. We can auto-resolve attack. Seems good. Except, we'll go back. All right, so we have a probe wreckage. We can just take that. No aliens for the crash. Salvage teams are extracting the following items to buff loot base. Okay, so if they die outright, we have a timer here, and that'll get everything moved back. Interesting. So this has been a very interesting playthrough so far uh, of Xenonauts 2. I mentioned this at the top of the stream, but uh, I am interested in turning this into a potential series over on the new channel. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know uh, either in comments or down in the Discord or anywhere, really. For now, I do have to go. Uh, I'm kind of cutting into my break right now before the next stream. Uh, that way I can go eat dinner. But let's go ahead and save... Let's see, manual save, good enough. And I will go ahead and switch us back over to the chat screen, and we can go ahead and do our final roll for the night, or for the for this stream, I should say, for who is going to be winning a couple new games. So let's go ahead, and I've already manually saved. We can just quit the desktop. Let's turn our Christmas music back on. Cool. And let's go ahead and bring the wheel up to spin. Let's see, display capture. There we go. Let's move my face back down into the bottom right corner. There we go. All right, who's going to be winning this time? Let's find out. Woo! We've got Lawful, who I think won earlier today, too. Let's see, sheet... And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to stop doing a random number generation and just pick a random one at that's blank and not given away yet. So let's see. Three, two, one. Pop. Uh, he's going to be winning Witch-tastic. All right, let's roll again. We've got Nabbly Babbly, who's going to be winning. Let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Pop, 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 pop. Beyond Blue. All 
All right, I'll send that out. We got another spin. Who's it going to be? It's going to be... Lawful already won one this, this round. I'm not going to do him again. Which he's getting up there in the number of games he's winning anyway, because we have so few people. So I'm going to spin again on him. Who's it going to be? Now, nah, come on, wheel. Wheel, come on. I just said I'm not giving one to Lawful. Speedy Moon? What is Speedy going to get? Oh, my bad. Cutlass. Which Cutlass just won one too, I think. But he has fewer. Yeah, Cutlass has one fewer. So. Doop. Candy Disaster Tower Defense. Cutlass 77. Good enough for me. And we'll do one more. I'm going to have to redo this uh, with the new counts. Now, uh, how many is Na Napoli Babbly won? Napoli Babbly has won three previously. I'll go and let them have this one. All right, what are they going to be winning? Ooh, boop. Death and taxes. There we go. All right, I'll be giving those out in between this stream and the next one. Next stream is going to be Lethal Company with some of my friends. Uh, and that stream is going to be happening at 7. Right now, I'm going to go take a break. So hopefully you guys uh, tune back in. Uh, for anybody who ha has no idea what I just did, uh, Jingle Jam is a charity event put out by the Augscast each year. And a couple years ago, they opened it up for other streamers to join in. So that's where I come in. Uh, I've already made my donation up in the corner, you can see. Um... On top of giving to charity, if you donate uh, 35 Great British Pounds or more, which is about 40 USD, uh, they give you a pack of 82 games. So I'm giving away all the games I got from Jingle Jam uh, just to you guys. Uh, there are a couple things that I'll skip over. I'm trying to skip over people who have won a lot. So now that we're starting to even back out, I'm probably going to go back and redo the list of who's on the wheel and see what we got. I might open it up to the Discord as a whole, um, but we'll see. In any case, hope you guys have a wonderful uh, couple hours before the next stream, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.